Welcome to Weld.com. Uh, you know, we build a lot of stuff, and uh, this is for some of you math hounds. Some of you guys are good at shop math and fabrication. Some of you are horrible at it. Um, and so, you know, I'm going to show you something really simple, really simple. When we're building something and we have a, a, a right triangle and we have 45 degrees, you know, a lot of people know more math than what they really think they do, and they don't admit it. They remember these numbers like, pi and they remember stuff but for some reason they, they there's a constant with this one here too and it's kind of cool save you a lot of time uh, if both of these are equal and we're going to put a brace in here at a 45 degree angle which by the way if we would do that that is the strongest brace 45 degree angle one to one i don't care what these numbers are it's all it's always going to come back to a number here and you can whip out your calculator, and if these numbers happen to be 10, okay? So Pythagorean's theorem, we're gonna go 10 squared plus 10 squared, 100, 200, square root of 200. You know, go ahead and tell me what that number is, but think about this for a second. I don't care what it is, if it's 45 degree angle, remember this number here. Just remember that number right there. That's all you gotta do, okay? Everybody knows what pi is, 3.1416. Remember this one here, because if this was 10 inches and I needed to cut a brace in there real quick, then I would be cutting it 14.14 inches. Well, what's 14.14? .14? Well, cut it off at 14.125. That's an eighth of an inch and you're gonna be close enough, especially if you're gas metal arc welding. A Little bit of gap is fine. Anyway, little trick, little cool tip there. I just I thought I'd share that with you for what it's worth. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.